Hello, Mario! In this video, I'm going to be looking at estimating stockpile volumes. From time to time, as a surveyor, we're often asked on site to estimate the volume of stockpiles for various reasons. It may be they just want to be reassured that there's enough material left or to know how much more to order. Usually when people ask me to estimate things, my stock answer is, you're not paying me to guess. I'll get my tools out and measure it. But from time to time, there is an expediency involved in estimating a stockpile volume. And we need to perhaps apply a little bit of science to it apply the benefit of our years and you know what we know to come up with a an answer that would be better than the the amateur a bit of a professional answer but in all cases we should be at pains to point out that it is an estimate and how accurate it's likely to be so here we have a fairly typical stockpile um, nicely formed in the shape um, of, of a sort of a truncated pyramid um, longer than wide. Note the, usually the sides of the stockpile are you know of an even grade. Now normally in situations like this where I'm asked to estimate a top stockpile or measure it I quite often uh, seek out the the loader driver or the person responsible for forming the stockpile and ask them if they wouldn't mind just doing a bit of a quick whip around the stockpile and tidy it up a little bit just to make my job a little bit easier and, and that does help it makes it easier to see the shape of the stockpile and generally in the spirit of cooperation if you talk very nicely to these people and just ask them point out to them what what you're trying to do and um, they will be helpful but um, if you get too officious and order them to do it um, it could well be counterproductive and they make your job more difficult now in this stockpile here so what I've done is I've just shown the distances to the nearest meter now these could well be paced out if you're wanting if you're wanting a quick answer on the site so this is something that you might do in your field book and uh, pace around the base uh, get a, a an appreciation of the area of the base um, maybe pace around the top of the stockpile if you're able to work on it walk on it remember that there may be some health and safety issues associated with walking on some stockpiles so you may have to um, work out the area of the top by being offset from it and get some idea of the the distances and we also need to get an appreciation of the height um, in this case here um, of four meters so here we've got some distances that I've shown here this is uh, 56 meters by 112 at the base 32 by 88 at the top and four meters high over here I have drawn some sort of this is an end view uh, 56 32 um, with a a, a um, a height of four um, and the middle the mean uh, area through here or the mean uh, through here or the mean between the two is 44 and then looking at from the side view um, similarly 88 112 100 and um, a height of four so the mean of a hundred through there and I've just um, just to make things a little bit easier for our calculations uh, area of the top uh, 32 by 88 uh, 2816 meters squared area of the base 112 by 56 uh, 6272 meters squared so let's look at some uh, various estimation techniques that we could use now with the help of the sections there nice easy one here uh, we just uh, go uh, 44 by 100 and then multiply that by 4 that gives us a volume of um, 17,600 cubic meters 
Now we could use what's known as the end area formula and here we just have two end areas so um, it's just basically uh, the average area uh, times uh, times the height uh, divided by two um, so here um, as you see we've got the average area the areas in there uh, the heights four divided by two and that gives us a volume of 18,000 uh, 170 76 uh, cubic meters um, like there I'll just put the little comma in there for there and, and there so um, that's uh, slightly different a slightly higher one of the end area method is uh, perhaps known as a, as a, as a in terms of similar uh, methods of calculating volume is one of the least accurate once and in this case here you can see that um, it's, it's about 500 cubic meters more now we can look at this um, stockpile that I've got here and it is uh, it's in a shape of a truncated pyramid and there is a formula for the volume of a truncated pyramid which is the height divided by three times um, the area of the base plus the area of the top plus the square root of the area of the base times the area of the top and filling in the numbers there we can see that we get a value there of um, 17,720.82 cubic meters I've just uh, put the 0.82 in there just to show that um, that it, it calculates out to that so uh, there you are we have a uh, three different estimates um, of the uh, approximate volume of the um, of the stockpile there um, I know if I was a depending on which side of the contract I was on I know I would be either choosing uh, to use the end area one or the uh, quick rough volume there so um, if you're using this type of estimate um, for for purposes of payment um, you need to be very careful and possibly um, perhaps need to agree on the method of measuring um, beforehand so that you you know you're in agreement and you don't come up with uh, this uh, the errors that could be associated with just using different forms of of, of volume but um, in terms of sometimes depending on what you do um, you might use one a lower a lower estimate might you know give you a better factor of safety but we can see there that the range of um, estimates there between uh, 17 6 and 18 round right about um, 600 cubic meters is sort of the range with the you know the one in the middle um, there so um, you know pro possibly um, I would be sort of if I was to forward this as an estimate I would probably be looking at perhaps sort of 18,000 cubic meters um, would be the estimate I'd put forward we need to be aware that these are estimates um, we've only pasted out or measured it uh, very quickly so and um, that needs to be reflected in the answer the answer that we give and need to be very clear and adamant about that and state that quite clearly you don't want to be staking your life on uh, this 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 sort of thing here especially as I said if it's for payment purposes so there you are now remember that an estimate it's these are just an estimate they are not a measurement not an exact measurement it's an estimate and you might use this to determine how much material was left if you had enough left how much more you might have to order with a reasonable factor of safety and that sort of thing so there you go estimating stockpile volumes